Now there we go. Okay. All right. The wrong microphone was selected. So now we should have sound. So let's go back and try this again. It is Wednesday, which means we have new fall pieces in. By Friday, we are going to have three different things. We're going to have fashion fix. We are going to have more new fall pieces. And we are going to have 25 exclusive convention only pieces. So I get those for being life of the party. It's one of my rewards. They send me 25 pieces from the convention collection that the consultants had an opportunity to buy while they were there. They were only released there. Um, we'll see them in different forms, probably throughout the year, different colors. So I'll be on the watch for those as well, because we don't always like the first color that they come in, but we might like subsequent colors. So we'll be watching for those. So we're going to have a lot on Friday. We have our first fall pieces today. So pretty happy with the fall lineup so far. But quite a few nice things. So we'll show those to you. Hi, Jane. Hi, Mom. Let's see. So getting that notification sent out because I forgot to send it early. In fact, I was looking for something else and realized, oh, my goodness, it's 5 o'clock. So... <laughs> You know how it is. Time runs away from you in those last few minutes. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, of course, is the necklace that I'm wearing. This is one of our blockbusters. I call this the jellyfish necklace. It's actually called Designated Diva. So we have a little cap here that's rhinestone studded and then little tassels that have crystal type beads and pearly beads on it. They're an abstract shape. I love these little mesh beads up here. I think they're cool. They're hollow and just wire mesh all around the outside. And then some more pearly beads. They come with the pearly bead earrings. So that is going to be number one designated diva. And because it's a blockbuster, I have several in stock, but I also can get more anytime I want to. So if we run out, I'll just order more. Number two is one of our new fall pieces. This is called Sonoran Scene. This is a cuff bracelet kind of looks like a feather pattern along the outside edge. That's what it reminds me of. And then inside we have these tan brown and turquoise blue beads. Hi, Aunt Dora. So you can see what it looks like all the way around. Open back cuff. Of course, you can squeeze this a little bit if you need to or stretch it a little bit if you need to. You may need help stretching it because this one's a stronger one. So this is called Sonoran scene. In multi, I have two of these. Number two. Aunt Dora wants yeah. that one. I thought you might like that one. That's kind of right up your alley. Right now, a lot of the fall things are. So you'll probably really like the fall collection. All right. Next, I brought this out because it is great with all the fall pieces. This is another one of our blockbusters. This one is called Untamed. So we have silver, copper, and brass. In this necklace, we have the little scroll type vines and some hammering on these pieces. The earrings are the little copper pieces with the scrolling on them. Has the snake type chain or cord type chain. This is the length, so it's about an inch and a quarter below that collar. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. Maybe not. It's that time of day. So with the two inch extension, it is going to sit down here on the bust. This was one of the necklaces that at first I looked at and I'm like, who would wear that? And then not that long later, I was wearing it. So that's how it goes sometimes. Hi, Marjorie. This one is called Untamed. And again, this is one of our blockbusters. So I have as many as I need. And it is going to be number three. It goes great with all those fall colors though. The copper really lends itself to fall copper and brass because of the coloring in them. They go well with a lot of our fall wardrobe colors. So you'll see a lot of copper and brass coming out uh, this fall. Next up, we have a very pretty slate blue necklace. This is called Primrose and Pretty in blue. So you can see we have the little flowers. Nice detail on these flowers. Largest one is in the center. Then they get a little bit smaller as they go up. The earrings are also the little flowers. I have three of this one. Primrose and something. This is um, about three quarters of an inch below the collar with the two inch extension. It's going to sit right here in the center of the chest. 
if you're more familiar with the Wedgwood blue color, this is more of a Wedgwood blue, but I call it a slate blue because most people know that one has a little tinge of gray to it. This is Primrose and Pretty in blue. We have three of these. It is going to be number four. So you know that rose necklace that we had, um, I think it was last summer that I was always hoping would come out in blue. It never did. Now we have a rose necklace in blue. So I guess we got what we wanted, right? All right, next up is a bracelet and necklace set. These are matching. You do not have to buy both pieces. I think I explain that every time, but just in case someone's new, you don't have to buy both pieces. So you can buy them separately. I just show them together in case you want a matching set, which some people do. This one is called Explore Every Angle in multi. So this one has the little seed beads as well in yellow, orange, and that turquoise blue. Some little cube and other beads. I don't know what shape those other ones are in that polished silver. So this is on that very thin wire, two, two or three strands of it. I think there's three. Yep, three strands of it with each one. So two layers necklace. The earrings are a little stack of those beads, which are not gonna be still. And then the bracelet is exactly the same. And it's, this has the adjustable clasp. So you have the extension to make it fit your wrist. I have two of the necklaces. I have three of the bracelets. Let's look at how this necklace fits. So this one is sitting right up at the collar with your two inch extension, it is gonna sit here in the upper chest. So this is a shorter necklace, gonna be right up in here. You could add another extension to it. Uh, not super long because of course you're gonna be able to see the clasp after a little while, but you could extend it just a little bit more. So this is called Explore Every Angle in Multi. We have two necklaces, we have three of the bracelets. This one is number five. We'll wait for just a few more people to get in here before we play the survey questions, just so that we don't have any trouble answering them, because I know sometimes we're kind of grasping for answers. All right, this one is called Formal Florals in Gold. So this is a pretty flower with that rhinestone, rhinestone petals, and then a green rhinestone center. This is set in gold. The earrings are the gold tassels. This is the length. So it's about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is sitting down here in the center of the chest. I have two of these. So this one is formal florals in gold. And it is number six. Taylor said she was going to do the jewelry show today, but you see, where is she? She's gone. She disappeared. She was sitting here practicing earlier, pretending she was doing the jewelry show. And she was really cute. I wish I'd gotten that on camera. All right. This one is called Adobe Air in silver. So we kind of have these taupe, dark taupe colored crackle stones. So I see taupe because they're they say silver, but they've got a little of a brown tinge to them as well. Have the little marquee shaped or leaf shaped silver pieces and then some wooden beads in there as well, hanging from this kind of horseshoe shape with the dot motif. This is the length and size. I have three pairs of these. These are called Adobe Air in silver and they are number seven tonight number eight a lot of our fall things going with a natural look so we have these laurel gardens hoops so they kind of look like those laurel crowns that they used to wear or head bands these are in antique silver kind of a medium size hoop. So if you own the Glitzy by Association earrings, these are very similar in size. I have two pairs of these. Laurel Gardens in silver is number eight.
just one pair of these left and these are set in gold just in case you can't see that gold up there these are more of like our amazon green that we're having for the fall so a little bit darker green these are little pebbles and then we have the crystal type beads and a cloudy bead right here in the center so you can see the little cloudy striations through it this is the length and size these are called prana party in green so just one pair of these left and they are number nine number 10 number 10 is party procession in multi so this is in gray green that dark green kind of a dark olive green and a light pink as well as that silver mixed in so we have different textured beads linear textures and hammered textures on those silver beads all kind of in a long cluster the earrings are the gray opaque beads on a silver fish hook back I have two of these. This one is hanging right at that neckline with the two inch extension. It is gonna sit down here in the upper chest, just above mid chest. These colors are gonna coordinate nicely with some of our other fall pieces. So we'll be able to get you some upgraded pieces to go with it if you'd like to later on. Hi, Terry. This is Party Procession in Multi. Two of these left. It is number 10. All right, since Terry's here, she always has all the answers. Let's go ahead and ask a question. Let's see. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Five answers on this one. Let's take Hi, Linda. Let's take number three. Name something you wouldn't want to stick your nose into. Something you wouldn't want to stick your nose into. And I will tell you that both of, that the answers are both literal and figurative. So they're kind of mixed. So something you wouldn't want to stick your nose into. A family argument. A fight. Yes. Okay, let's give that to you, Terry, because it was actually fight. So between the argument and the dog fight, I think you've got both covered. Other people's business was number four. Yeah, keep your nose out of other people's business, right? Someone's divorce. Definitely keep it out of the divorce. That wasn't listed specifically. The fight and other people's business were. The next three are literal. Something you wouldn't want to stick your nose into. So we got the two figurative ones. Hi, Carol. Whatever you've missed, you can catch on replay. No worries. We're at number, we're going to start with number 11 after this question. So you've missed 10 pieces, but that's okay. That's why the replays are up. Pepper, not pepper, but that's a good idea. That makes me sneeze. Every time I use pepper in the kitchen, somehow it makes me sneeze. I don't know. Dog poop. That was number five. <laughs> poop of any kind. Don't want to stick your nose in that. Two other things you would not want to stick your nose in. One, because it smells bad. Two, because it... Mm -mm. You'll get attacked. Not a cactus, but that's a good thought. Baby's diapers. Yep, that goes right up the poop alley. Not a cactus, but a good guess. Beehive. Beehive was number two, Carol. Don't want to stick your nose in the beehive or the flower with the bee. Don't want to get stung. One other thing that smells really bad that you would not want to stick your nose in. Any guesses? It's usually something we take out every day. The trash can or the garbage. Yep. That was number one. All right. Ooh, vomit. Yeah. Let's not, let's not stick noses in the vomit. That's not good. I have to be very careful about smelling vomit because the sight of it doesn't bother me. 
but the smell of it will turn my stomach. And then there's more mess to clean up. So we don't want that. All right, our next piece is floral fashion show in pink. This is a very delicate looking V-shaped necklace. We have light pink rhinestones in those flowers and little white rhinestones in the leaves. The earrings are the little teardrop rhinestones. These are in white. I have three of this necklace. This is the length. So it's about three eighths of an inch to the center. It is really pretty, Mom. And I'm not a big flowery person, but this is just very delicate and feminine, very pretty looking. The two inch extension will bring that point of the V down to the center of the chest. I'm also looking for them to release this in other colors because not everybody likes pink, but this is a very light pink. So this is called Floral Fashion Show in pink, and it is number 11. That very necklace is really pretty. <laughs> and Max said that necklace is really pretty. He likes that one too. We've got his seal of approval on that one. This is also one of my favorites from the fall collection. Uh, Linda should already be on the way. It should have been there. I'll check the tracking on it, okay? So this is antique copper in a butterfly, and then it has little turquoise crackle pieces at the end of each wing, or in the points of each wing. The earrings are little crackle bead and then they're on a copper back. I'm trying to think about that order now. This one is an inch and a quarter down. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit right here above the bust. So right there. Since this one says copper, we can assume that it's going to be released in other metals as well. So it'll probably still have those turquoise crackle beads, but the metal should change. So this is Badlands Butterfly in copper. And we have four of these. Number 12. But I will look up that tracking information after the show and I will get back to you on that and tell you what it says. All right. This one is a dark red. It's a little bit lighter on my screen. So this is more of a dark red. This is called Botanical Banquet in red. So we have teardrop clusters in red beads and then our earrings are also little clusters of those teardrop beads on a fish hook back this one is about half an inch below that collar hi sharon with the two inch extension it's going to sit down right here so it's going to go across the center of the chest this one is botanical banquet in red we have three of these and it is number 13. Go. Number 14. Number 14, they call this one pink. It's a little bit of a dusky pink or a little peachy pink. This one's called Oceanside Service in pink. So we have transparent and cloudy or milky beads. They have those little swirls of milky white in them. The middle layer is chain. The two other layers are beads. Top one is smaller than the others. The earrings are the little donut beads in that milky bead. This is the length. It's about an inch below that collar. Hi, Caroline. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit right here above the bust. So we have three of these. This one is called Oceanside Service in pink. But as I mentioned, this is kind of a peachy pink. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It is a peachy pink. Um, let me look on my color chart really quick, Carol, and see what color they're calling this. I would say it's more like a light salmon. They're calling it Calla Lily or Romance on my color chart, which is not really very descriptive. <laughs> I love how they do that. It's a lighter version of Pixie or a Starfish. 
Um, if you want to compare those colors, let me find. This is called the Naughty Tie Company, K-N-O-T-T-Y, Naughty Tie Company. You can go on their website and they have these color charts, and that's what I use. Okay, Carol wants this one. This is going to be number 14. We have two more of those after Carol's. So if you want to compare the colors, that's a good way to do it. You can either order this. They sell them for like $5, and that just covers the shipping. So um, huge color chart. Gives me a way to describe the colors to you. If you want one in person, you can go there and order one of those, um, and you'll be able to reference that during the show. Or you can just look it up online. Monitors, monitor colors will change just a little bit, but you'll still get a very good idea of what the colors look like. All right, this one is called Cosmic Cosmos in purple. You can see that it's kind of a varied purple. We've got like a periwinkle blue in with a light purple, like a lavender color. And it kind of depends on which way you're holding it which you see more of, but it's definitely varied. Has kind of a flower pattern in that silver frame around those rhinestones. The earrings are the little twisted rope circles on a fish hook back. I have five of these. This is the length, so it's about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here with the bottom of it right above the bust, right there. I bought this one because it's such a unique color and it would go with several different things. So this one is Cosmic Cosmos in purple. It's going to be number 15. We have five of those. All right, let's ask another question. And if you start to see sweat on my face, yeah, it's a little warm in here. I do have the fan on, but I can't have it blowing right on me because it blows my hair in my face while I'm trying to talk. All right, one, two, three, four. Four answers on this one. Let's take number three. Name something that just about everybody has a jar of in their refrigerator. Something just about everybody has a jar of in their refrigerator. What do you think? What do you have jars of in your refrigerator? Mayo was number one. Pickles. Pickles was number three, Carol. You got it. Jelly was number two and mustard was number four. So we've got mayo, mustard, pickles, and jelly in everybody's fridge, right? I was kind of laughing with the uh, cashier the other day when I went grocery shopping because our fridge is at least, at least 50% condiments, if not more. I think we have more condiments in there than we have actual food. So, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need to uh, pare down the condiments a little bit so that we can actually find it. Yeah. And Max says nobody can find what they want because we have so much in there. And so they open up another jar. I know nobody else has problems with that. Open up another jar. So then we have two jars open. Yes. And I don't like that. We have olives and garlic, too. Yep. We do, too. Yeah, it's always been free. The, the shipping is $5. It was that way before. I just tell everybody $5 because that's what the shipping is. Salad dressing. Salad dressing. Yeah, we have Miracle Whip. Uh, Caitlin likes mayonnaise, but we like Miracle Whip. So, All right, this next one. This is a little bit of a teal color, so it has just a slight greenish tint to it. This is called Melrose Melody in blue. So the bottom beads are opaque. Then we have some frosted beads right here and some semi-transparent beads with little milky swirls in them up here. Our earrings are the frosted beads on a silver fish hook bag. This is the length and size. So right here in the center of the chest with the two inch extension, it's gonna sit right here above the bust. I like this color too. I like to wear this color. So this one is Melrose Melody 
in blue, I have two of these. It is going to be number 16. Number 17. This one is called Knotted Keepsake. <laughs> Caitlin's the only one with good taste buds. You would not see that if you see the other thing she eats or doesn't eat. So this one is a combination of the browns and the pink. So we have light pink. We have kind of a hot pink. We have some brass. And then we have the brown cord as well as some wooden beads. The earrings, number 16 to Carol. The earrings are the wooden beads with the hot pink above them. This is the length. So our top beads are sitting right out in the bust. Bottom beads sitting down here by the belly button. Hi, Becky. With your two inch extension, it's gonna sit close to this dropped waist. It is different. I thought it was cute. And pink and brown go so well together. We wear a lot of browns during um, fall. So the pink gives it a little bit of a a bright spot. So this one is number 17. It's called Knotted Keepsake. We have three of those. Let me give that to Max. Number 18. This one is called number 17 to Terry. This is Barefoot Bohemian in red. So this is showing a little bit more orange on my screen. It's just the lighting. This is a red crackle stone. I don't see any orange in it, but it's a red crackle stone, flat oval discs, as well as some thicker donut discs and a red bead, little silver caps and silver beads with texturing. The earrings are the red crackle beads as well. This is the length. So it's sitting right down here just above mid-abdomen. So mid-abdomen would be right about here. With the two-inch extension, it's going to sit just below mid-abdomen, right there. This one is Barefoot Bohemian in red, and it is number 18. We have two of these. Go ahead. Pull. Okay. Oh, it's magnified. It's, yeah. There's a magnet over here, and I keep getting things stuck on it. it yep. Number 19. Look at these. Seed beads on hoops. So these are called Saguaro Breeze in multi. You'll get it. All right, there we go. We've got pink and orange. Nope, no orange. Pink and yellow, sorry. White and that turquoise blue in a seed bead fringe down off the bottom of these hoops. This is the length and size. Yes, my mom uses it too, Carol. But I just find it's nice for everybody to be able to see what kind of colors in person since we're doing it over video and everybody's monitor settings are different. So we have two of these, number 19. I know what would happen with those. The girls would pull on them if I was wearing those and I would have seed beads everywhere. I do like them, but um, I'm probably not gonna be able to wear those. All right, this one is called Holly Eris. So we have some pretty leaves and then we have a green, kind of an olive green rhinestone at the edge of these. These are hinged. They're little cl clusters of leaves. And then our earrings are the green rhinestones. I have two of these. This one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit right here above the bust. The bottom of that leaf will be right here above the bust. So it is gonna go more across the center chest with the bulk of the leaves. This one is Holly Eris in green. This one is number 20. Two of those available. Hopefully we'll have my phone fixed by Friday. The piece is supposed to come in. So um, we'll get Instagram back up for you. I broke my phone and um, my temporary phone does not work well. 
for Instagram. The camera is not good on it at all. So um, kind of had to pause Instagram for a little bit. All right, let's see. This one has four answers. Let's go with number four. Name an animal that has a bushy tail. An animal with a bushy tail. What are you going to go with? A squirrel. That was number one. Squirrels do have bushy tails. They're pretty. We like to watch the squirrels. We have lots of them in our yard. Our dog likes to pretend he's attacking them. He doesn't actually attack anything. Oh, a skunk. They missed that one. That should have been on there. Cat and a dog was not on there. A fox was absolutely right, Jane. That was number four. Raccoon was number two. And of course, our bunny rabbit. That was number three. Squirrel, raccoon, a rabbit, and a fox. Those were ours. Our dog has a swishy tail. I don't know what he gets that from. He's part black lab and part shepherd. So I assume it comes from the shepherd part. Um, but he has a very swishy tail, almost like a feathery tail. It's pretty cool. All right. This is also a longer one. This one is called Galactic Glow in Multi. Yeah, it is a pretty good combo. Although he likes to act like he's dumb, but he's really smart. So we have... The frame is kind of like a dot motif. And then we have crystal type beads in that multicolor, uh, based a little bit more in like a blues and a purples, but they're iridescent. And then the earrings are those same beads. They're on a fish hook back. This is the length. So right about here in the middle of the abdomen and down with the two inch extension down here around the belly button. This one does have a nice sliding chain with bigger links, so you would be able to pull this up. So if you want it a little bit shorter, definitely easy to shorten this one up. This one is called Galactic Glow in Multi. And it's going to be number 21. I have three of those. I'll try to get it over that thing. <laughs> Number four. Number four is orange and tiny flowers. This one's called Fearlessly Floral in orange. So a little bright orange rhinestones, tiny silver flower cutouts all along this chain. I love how they group those together. Isn't it cool? And then the earrings are the tiny little flowers. Let me turn that one around. That one got turned. There we go. The little silver flower cutouts. I have two more of these. This one is about half an inch below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down at center chest right there. So we have fearlessly floral in orange. Got two of these. It's going to be number 22. Number 23, and I've debated how to show you these because it's really hard to show you what they actually look like. So let me turn that other one and let's just look at one. These are ear crawlers. This is called Thunderstruck Sparkle in black. So this is the black metal. This is your post on this end where the long strand of rhinestones is. This is the part that crawls up your ear. It does have a little clip on the back to hold it in place. So this would go up your ear, yep, wrong side, like this. Ignore that little part up above it. So it would hang like that on your ear. So we have two pairs of these, Thunderstruck Sparkle. See, I told you, when they get on here, this does not do justice to way, the way they look. They should have found a different way to hang these. That's what they look like. Thunderstruck Sparkle in black. Two of these. Number 23. Now 
Number 24, pretty classic fall colors in that mustard yellow, the butterscotch brown, and then the darker brown wooden beads. I also have a little bit of olive green in there and some polished silver. This is a three layer necklace. Got these layers twisted around each other. The earrings are the mustard yellow beads. This is called Seasonal Sensation in Multi. I have two of these. Let me make these lay right. There we go. So this is how it lays from this lower abdomen down through this drop waist. With the two inch extension, it would go down into this lower belly. This one's gonna be really hard to shorten just because it's three layers. If you wanted to use the safety pin method, that's probably the easiest method of shortening it because you could go all the way through all six chains. Looking for a keys necklace. I would have to dig some out, Linda. I think I've got a few, or you can look on the website. I won't be able to do it during the show today, but I can bring them on Friday maybe. <clears throat> this is called Seasonal Sensation in Multi. I have two of them. It's number 24. Do you want long or short? I do have a short one kind of handy. This one's number 25. These are called Artisanal Aesthetic in blue. So we have espresso brown wooden discs with uh, blue crackle discs. Silver hoop goes through them. Both, okay. I can get down the short one really quick. I'd have to look and see if I still have a long one, okay? This is the length and size. So I have just one pair of these left. Artisanal Aesthetic in blue is number 25. There you go. All right. Let's ask this question. All right. Here's five answers. You want those, Sharon? You got it. Let's do number four on this. Name something you'd hate about living on a farm. Something you'd hate about living on a farm. Oh, the smells. Smells were number one. The rooster waking up in the morning. Milking a cow, mucking the stalls. Ooh, some of those are right, but it's more general. Hard work. Ah, that's really close, too. Working. Long hours. Yeah, you know, waking up early, especially to that rooster, was number five. The animals themselves were number three. So get tired of all the animals or the bugs or, you know, whatever, the flies. Chores. Yes, all the chores you have to do. So Carol got that one too. The other one I never really thought about, but I guess it would be true. Yeah, never a vacation. That's kind of uh, kind of along the lines of what they were thinking. Usually farms are way out in the country. So what would you hate about living way out in the country? I know some of us have lived way out in the country, or you may still, although you probably wouldn't be on here right now because you don't have good internet if you live way out in the country. <laughs> Not running to Walmart, no trash pickup, yeah. No social life, yeah. The isolation gets to people. You're kind of, you're just on the farm all the time. You can't really leave. Yeah, they tend to be out in the country, so they don't have a lot of neighbors around. So the isolation was the other one. All right. So here's the necklace I was able to get down. Linda, this is a shorter one. This is called Prized Key Player in pink. So we have the pink stone in the center, and it's surrounded by little white rhinestones. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on that. There we go in a key shape with the little heart down at the bottom. 
The earrings are also those little pink stones. So this is a light pink. This is the length. So it's about an inch below the collar. With your two inch extension though, you could bring it down to about here. That's gonna be the bottom of it right there. So this one is prized key player. And I have three of these. It's in pink. Go ahead and spin that. Sorry. Number 26. So that's the one I know I've got for sure. You want that one? Okay, Linda wants that one. And I'll look and see. I did have I did have a longer one, but I think it might have sold, so I have to look. All right, this is a longer necklace as well. This is called Park Avenue Palace in gold. So we have some gold hoops as well as some gold oval links. We have a crystal type bead down here at the bottom. The earrings are the crystal type beads on a gold fish hook back. This is the length. So it's hanging in this mid abdomen area. With the two inch extension, it's more down around the belly button area. This one, of course, since it goes through this top oblong link, you could definitely shorten this one. You could even double that, go through there and make this a shorter necklace if you wanted to. So this one is Park Avenue Palace in gold. It is number 27. We have two of those. Okay, and number 28. These are called light as a leather in multi. So these are two shades of brown. You can see this one's more of a yellowy brown and then a medium brown on top. These are leather pieces cut in marquee shapes. And then we have kind of that dusky pink in the middle. They're on a fish hook back. This is the length and size. I have these in another <coughs> color and I really like them. They're super light. So these are number 28. This is our last piece for the night. Number 28, light as a leather. Two of those available. There we go. That's our last piece for the evening. We will have more fall pieces in on Friday, as well as those fashion fixes and the convention pieces. So depending on how many we have, we may have to put some of that off until Sunday. We'll definitely get the fashion fixes in because you need time to order those. Um, so we may put some of those, the, some of the pieces off until Sunday, but we'll get everything in. So waiting on Max to tell us who won tonight so that you guys know, and I don't forget to tell you, you just sent it to me. Jane, you are a winner tonight. So Jane, if you're still out there, you were our winner tonight. If not, I know you'll catch it later. If you've missed any of the show, you can go back and watch the replay from the very beginning. So if you see that red box, we're still live. Um, if you don't see the red box, then you're watching the replay. Claim as usual, we just won't be able to interact with you. So we will see you Friday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You guys have a great evening and a great rest of the week. And we'll see you in a couple days. Bye. All right. I don't know what happened to you.